Welcome to Homegrown. Today we're at the J.C. Ralston Arboretum to take a look at some plants that can bring beauty and structure to your shady landscape throughout the year. In a shade garden, it really becomes about the foliage. Uh, different shades of green, variegation, texture, these are all things that help bring beauty and interest to your shady garden. If you're dealing with areas that have dense tree roots, instead of trying to fight nature and grow plants in areas that are going to be really challenging, Think about using mulch in those spaces. That'll be better for the trees in the long run because it will help with the health of the tree roots themselves. Then you can add things like containers and sculptural pieces to bring color and interest into those spaces. When you get ready to start your landscape project, be sure to contact your local North Carolina Cooperative Extension Center. There's an office in every county in North Carolina and extension agents and master gardener volunteers are available to help you determine what the best plants for your area are, how to prepare the soil, and especially how to take a soil test. This will tell you what nutrients are needed and if you need to add lime to adjust your soil's pH. These are all really important things you need to do before putting plants in the ground to ensure the long-term success of any planting. One of my favorites for a shady landscape is oak leaf hydrangea. This plant's actually native to the southeast and can give you really spectacular blooms, even in quite shady spots. It can continue to look quite pretty all throughout the summer as the blossoms fade and take on these rosy hues. Another feature of this plant are the large leaves, which do have type of kind of an oak leaf shape and gives it a common name of oak leaf hydrangea. So another plant that can bring quite a different texture to a shady landscape is dwarf palmetto. This plant is also native to the southeast where it occurs in swampy coastal wetland areas. Now in the landscape, it's really quite adaptable and tough. It'll grow in sun or shade in wet or well-drained soils. Another group of plants that can bring texture and interest to your shady landscape are the Aspidistra. They're also known as cast iron plant, and you may be more familiar with them as house plants, but they are hardy outdoors to zone seven, which is many areas in North Carolina. Aspidistra come in many different varieties. They have different patterns of variegation, such as these speckled leaves, Others have creamy edges or interesting leaf shapes. So by using multiple varieties, you can make interesting patterns in your landscape just with the foliage. If you're looking for a medium to large evergreen shrub or shade, a classic is a kuba. It's often also called gold dust plant because of the interesting gold flecks and patterns on the foliage. And this is what makes it such a great shade plant. The golden color in the leaves really brightens up a shady area. And there's many different varieties of Akuba. So some have more gold flecking and others, some actually have variegated edges. So when you're looking to purchase Akuba for your landscape, look for some of the different cultivars that are available and choose one that has the pattern you like. 